They're small, inexpensive, and full manual. But how well do they perform? We're going to be taking a look at the CCTV lenses on a Micro Four Thirds camera and how they work together. The first lens that we'll be taking a look at will be the Sensonic 25mm 1.4 CCTV lens. There are other brands out there, but the builds are basically the same for most of them. This is an extremely small lens, but it does have a full metal outer body construction. It is advertised as 25mm 1.4, it's a C-mount lens, and the price is somewhere between $20 to $40 US. To mount this lens onto a Micro Four Thirds camera, we do need to use an adapter. Sometimes the adapter will be included with the lens, but that just depends on where you're buying it from. If not, then you can get one of these for about $10 to $20. There will be more information in the description. Let's go and get started. The first part of the video is going to show the comparison between the 12 to 60 mm kit lens from Panasonic and the 25 mm CCTV lens. I have set the length on the kit lens to 25 mm to match that of the CCTV lens, and the camera is about 4 feet from the edge of the shelf, and I did use the plimsoll line on the camera body to measure the distance. Now let's move on to some real world sample video. I took this on a partial day trip to Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's shot on the Panasonic G85 at 4K, 24 frames per second, and the shutter is at 50. The profile is Cine-D. All shots are handheld and stabilized using the in-body stabilization. And though it may look like it in some parts, none of the footage was slowed down in post. In conclusion, this is a nifty little lens. I don't see it as an everyday lens, but one which would be fun to take with you for those unique pictures and videos. It's so small it can fit in the side of a camera bag. On the fastest stop, the lens does have some extreme swirl on the outer edges, and there's also some slight vignetting on the corners of the screen. Now if you crop the video in post for a wider screen look, that will eliminate the problem. The focus and aperture rings are smooth and tight, but I do feel that they're a little bit too tight to where if you adjust one, it starts to move the other one as well, so just go ahead and keep that in mind. There are lens flares when shooting with this lens. Now that could be a plus for some, but a minus for others. As for me, I do love the flare that this lens gives, and along with the slight swirl on the sides, it does give it a unique organic look. Not for all types of shootings, but for some. Since it is a full manual lens, there's no image stabilization. If your camera does have IBS, then you're good to go, but if it doesn't, then I would highly recommend a tripod or stabilizer when shooting. I'll be working on the 35mm CCTV lens next, so stay tuned. In the meantime, thanks for watching, take care, and have a great day.